Alrighty, so today we're going to be looking at independent events and the addition rule. So Dario and Ali are playing darts. The probability that Dario scores a triple 20 is a fifth, and for Ali, it's a third. Determine the probability that at least one triple 20 will be scored if Dario and Ali have one turn each. So let's use some notation. So let's say D is equal to Dario hitting a 20. And we'll use the same for Ali. So A is for Ali. And then some ditto. Alrighty. So therefore we have the probability of D is equal to a fifth. And the probability of A is equal to a third. And it's a good thing to note that A and D are independent. Right. So we can use the multiplication rule that we use all the time, but we're allowed to use it. We know that it must be true. Okay, so what are the different outcomes that could happen? Well, here comes Mr. Tree Diagram to help. So we have A and A not. So either, uh, oh sorry, well let's do Dario first. So either Dario hits or Dario misses. And then from there, either a Lee can hit or a Lee can miss. And both options are fine. Now, since they're independent, it also means their inverses are independent. Now, we can now quickly work out all of these. We've got a fifth. Well, that means there's a four-fifths chance that he misses. And for Ali, it's a third, which means there's a two-thirds chance that he misses. Alrighty, so that means the probability of DA, sorry, D and A, meaning they both hit, is going to be a fifth times a third, which is a fifteenth. The probability of D hitting and A missing is going to be a fifth times two thirds, which is two over 15. And I'm going to finish this up. Now, one of the checks we can do now that we've worked out all the probabilities is we can add up all of these to check they add up to one, which they do indeed. No, they don't. Simple fix. You can see that I stuffed up down the bottom. That should be an eight, not a six. And there we go. So now we can be double checked. Always good check to do. It's an easy one and it will often save your butt. So we worked at all of these probabilities. Now we need to see what's the probability that at least one triple 20 will be scored. Well, these three are the events in which at least one is scored. This is the only event in which no triples are scored because they both miss it. So let's add up all of those together. So we're looking for the probability of at least 120. What's going to be a 15th plus 2 15ths plus 4 15ths, which is 7 15ths. Alternatively, you could have used uh, 1 minus that. Either option would have worked fine. Now you can see the power of independence. If we didn't have the independence, we wouldn't have been able to work out these three probabilities really, really quickly. All right, see you in the next one. Goodbye.